Hi, my name is Dr. Oleg Slipchinsky, and today I'll be talking about ethnic rhinoplasty. This is part two of the correction of the bulbous tip, and in part two we'll be talking about cartilage grafting, uh, how it's done, and where the cartilage grafts are taken from. Cartilage grafting and ethnic rhinoplasty uh, is dependent on three separate uh, procedures, essentially harvesting the cartilage graft from the septum, ear, or rib. Most commonly it would be the septum and ear. Two, creating a cartilage strut and shield graft. And three, reconstruction of the lower lateral cartilages to form a new shape for the tip. In this diagram we can see that the silastic implant has been placed and sutured into place, that there's a cephalic strip taken from the lower lateral cartilages, a dome division has been performed, a cartilage strut graft has been placed, and a cartilage shield graft has been placed. In the surgical photo, we can see on the left, the black lines represent the lines where the incisions for the cephalic strip will be performed. On the right is a photo that shows the cephalic strip incised and removed. Once the cephalic strip has been removed, the dome division can be performed where the black lines are marked. An incision is made into the domes, and then the cut ends of the incisions are sutured using a permanent stitch with either a 5 or 6 nylon suture. Once the domes have been divided and sutured, a cartilage strut graft is placed in between the medial crura of the lower lateral cartilages in a pocket created between the medial crura just above the anterior nasal spine. Once a septal strut has been placed between medial crura, it's secured using a 5 or 6 nylon suture. After adequate placement of the cartilage strut, a cartilage shield graft is placed just anterior to the strut and secured using a 5 or 6 nylon suture. This creates a new cartilaginous support framework for the tip. In these subnasal vertex views, we can easily see how the bulbosity of the tip has been reduced using this technique uh, through an open rhinoplasty approach. This patient also had ailer base reduction. This is another example of a reduction of a bulbous tip from the submental vertex view using dis techniques described previously. In this example, again, a reduction of the bulbous tip, increased projection in the tip, and also a reduction of the ailer base has been performed. In this case, the width of the bulbous tip has been reduced with projection of the cartilage shield and strut grafts, as well as an ailer base from a vertical dimension. In this case, the patient had a previous rhinoplasty by another surgeon, and the right showed a foes a revision rhinoplasty, reducing the bulbous tip and also narrowing the bridge, as well as elevating it. This concludes this section of the ethnic rhinoplasty cartilage grafting video, reduction of the bulbous tip and ethnic patients. Thank you for your attention, and I hope you have enjoyed this educational video.